So you want to learn how the Sonic Sway. Not only does Sonic Sway look good, but it's actually beneficial to learn how to do in Spark and Zero. Now, why is that? Sonic Sway not only allows you to not get damaged, but it also reduces your opponent's key. All right, let's break it down. Sonic Sway is done by using Perception. Perception is a tool you want to know everything about. Perception, you can counter rush attacks, you can counter smash attacks, and you could counter beam blast if you have enough key. The best way I say to use Perception during your guard. Because if you didn't know, while holding your guard button, you can press circle to go into perception if you have the right timing. So pretty much after he went for his five rush attack, you know there's a time in between that. So I press circle and then I can get my perception off to get him off of me. Beware, you can miss it and possibly be punished for it. So be careful. Now to Sonic's way, you have to press perception the same moment the opponent hits you. It literally works kind of like the super counter. The same timing that you will, you would try to perform a super counter would be the same time you try to perform a Sonic Sway. But the best thing about the Sonic Sway, if you do miss it, you can still possibly get a perception counter and knock your opponent away, so reset the neutral. To practice doing the Sonic Sway, I will go to training settings, go to opponent settings, set to rush attack. And as my opponent is trying to attack me, remember I told you you can hold guard to make yourself safer during the rush attacks, but you don't want to hold guard for too long because just in case the person is sidestepping, they can get behind you. So I would do this drill, hold guard until I feel I can use perception, go for the perception and try to get it five times in a row. Do it every day and I promise you, you'll be the perception god. Now to get more consistent Sonic Sways, I honestly feel like you go for it at the opponent's initial attack. Once you get a gauge on your opponent tendencies on when they like to attack, it's much easier to get a Sonic Sway. Let's say you know opponent likes to rush attack all the time. You could sidestep the rush attack, wait for them to do another rush attack and go for the Sonic Sway. It's all a timing thing. Now, how to practice Sonic Sway, just go to training settings, go to opponent settings, and set the CPU to do rush attacks. And then repeatedly try to go for the Sonic Sway on the initial attack. To slap away beams, a lot of people do not know you can slap away beams with perception. In order to do that, you have to have at least two key charges. And just hold perception as you see the beam comes out, and then you can slap away a beam with perception. And as you can see, if you look at the top left, you get an icon. That means you can charge three times faster just because you slap away a beam. But in all honesty, I think it's very inconsistent. So only go for this when you're super up and you know you're about to win the match. Outside of that, I wouldn't risk it now because I think it's a little buggy. But outside of that, I hope this guide helped you out with learning how to use perception more consistently and getting that sonic sway. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. TDN signing out. Yo, yo, yo.